What's up YouTube and welcome back to another video and today I can finally do my review on Kong Survivor Instinct and I did finish up this game on Wednesday night the day after the release and yeah it took me like a good seven hours so I want to start with the positives first about the game and then start with the negatives about the game so yes you will definitely come in here playing this game mainly for the lore and for them cutscenes because them cutscenes oh my goodness they were amazing and i really love the graphics and even for like a small company like seven levels like dude they really killed it with the graphics for sure and definitely like i say the chase scenes like they were very stressful with abaddon tiamat like it was amazing and just like make sure you guys catch on some easter eggs because there are going to be some files that you guys will find and there's some times that you will recognize and you'll be like oh my god it's this time like the like not mean they show up in the game or anything but just know that for sure but there are files and bios that you will find throughout playing this game D just know that you're going to come in here with human drama for sure like the monsters like they don't get they get solid amount of screen time in this game, especially like for Kong. I think Kong got solid amount of screen time. Like, I don't know how much screen time he got, but I'm pretty sure like it was pretty solid amount. Overall, like I think the game is pretty good for what it is. And I really love the story and the lore was really amazing to get. Like, like I said, like if you really want to know more about the Monster vs. Lore, like you will definitely come in here playing this game, wanting more of that lore. Like, yeah, this is exactly what I want. And like, this is the game for you if you want to play it. Now, now, the negatives i feel like the gameplay like the gameplay was pretty solid for what it is but like i feel like the combat system could have been better because like i've been dying multiple times every time i fight alan jonah's minions and like i'll be get, i get so frustrated and sometimes like you'll get lost and you'll get stuck in a part and you'll forget a sigma and then i had to go like all the way back and like i was like so frustrated and i'll get stuck on a part i had to feel like those like only the negatives i really have with the game like i like oh sometimes like i'll get stuck on a part but i'm like oh okay like you'll figure like you'll figure it out over time as soon as you play it like it would take you long but not not like over like an hour it won't be like it'll be like under an hour you'll, you'll figure it out but you know but over time like i give this game a 7 out of 10 like I think it's a good monstrous game for what it is and like literally the game is performing pretty well and like I said like if this game does well seven levels will literally make a Godzilla game relate involving with the monster verse so like if this game performed well we will get a monstrous Godzilla game so I hope this game does well to to the point that we'll get a monstrous Godzilla game so yes that is my review on kong survivor instinct like i really had fun with the game for what it is and i really think this was worth the wait and like i said like it's not a perfect monsterverse game but it really is it really is good for what it is like i ain't looking for a reward or anything i'm not really coming in for that i'm just coming in because like you know i love kong and i love the monsterverse i love everything about the monsterverse is amazing and that's why i downloaded this game and i really enjoyed it for what it is so yes guys that is my review on kong survivor instinct i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace out